hello guys welcome to solving solutions on the one channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been on today's video we are going to show you how to use them um, access pro for what you're referencing an image right good so before we begin let's um, do the folder connection so let's come down to folders on them on that catalog right click and then good so you navigate to the folder where you would have saved what the data you want to use for what for the georeferencing so we have one here under georeferencing actuals and then we click on ok right so i haven't done that we just click on this drop down drop this down and then we see what the imagery we want to what or let's say the image we want to georeference so it can now be easy for us to what to just drag and drop somewhere there right um calculate raster statistics for this imagery this um, raster data does not have statistics you know this primarily came out because it's not georeferenced yet so it does not have um, any special attribute so let's click on ok and then there is also a pop-up unknown um, um, coordinate system right good so map data source is missing coordinate system information right good so this is part of what's trying to tell you that this is just what a jpeg so um since we have this let me take this up a bit good so since we have this now and we know okay let me zoom this to layer good so this is the image we want to reference it's actually what a topo map of um, a particular area in um, in nigeria right good now you know basically on every map let's see on every map there are coordinate information and there are also other information that can help you better understand the map right good now what we are going to use for the georeferencing in today's video are these coordinates right good so it's very important when you produce your map you have what or let's say you attach these um, coordinates information maybe perhaps in grids so whenever the map wants to be reproduced this can help what for the reproduction so having established that let's come down to imagery and then let's go towards georeference so we are on the georeferencing window and basically what we need now is to now click on some of these points let's say these are our source points or target points and then provide the coordinate information of those points right good so we come towards add or let's say sorry add control points right good now add control points align the source layer to the reference layer right good so click at a location on the source layer you are your reference and then click at the corresponding location on the reference layer however the reference layer we are going to use are the coordinates of the points right good so let's now add control points you now see something like what a plus that is now um, prompting you or that will allow you to what, to click on any of the points so that you can attach what the coordinates right good so now let's click on that so instead of going to target we just right click so that we provide or let's say we impute what the coordinates of that point we want to use for the georeferencing now our coordinates are not in projected um, crs they are actually in geographic therefore let's click on show coordinates in degrees minutes and seconds right good now so with this we can be able to impute these are coordinates that are in a what in dms right good so the longitude here is um three degrees if i'm not making a mistake so we have um three degrees zero minutes and let's say zero zero seconds right good then our latitude is about eight degrees zero zero minutes and what zero zero seconds this should be north good so having imputed those values we can click on ok we might no longer see our image because it has been moved to that first point that we have what indicated so just um, zoom to layer good the image is back on our screen so i haven't established that first point let's move to this other edge to see if we can also have another point forward for the georeferencing so let's say we are using um, this intersection right click 
show coordinates in DMS then we have what 4 we have 0 and then sorry 430 not 0 4 degrees 30 minutes and then 00, zero seconds right good then for our latitude we have what 8 degrees so we can just have 8 here then 00, zero and 00, zero, right good so that's what the latitude or let's say the longitude and latitude of this particular point so we click on ok good so things are getting to or let's say things are getting in shape we can now move to the third point now one thing about georeferencing is that the accuracy of your georeferencing depends on the coordinates the number of coordinates you use and how well they are spread out right good so if you want better accuracy you use what well spread out coordinates so let's click on this and then right click right so we are using show coordinates in dms so we have what our longitude you now see that the values are getting closer to what we need right good so we have what our longitude in um, three degrees zero minutes and this should still be zero zero seconds then our latitude is what seven degrees right good so we have seven so we click on um, okay right then we now see what our last point will be on today's video let's move up to this point so we have something like let's see this edge or something right good so we click on that point and we right click we say show coordinates in DMS the latitude sorry the longitude is 4 degrees 30 minutes let's reduce this to 0 0 and then the latitude is what 7 degrees and let them um, reduce this to 0 as well good so we click on ok basically we've done what we've done the georeferencing let's um, zoom this to layer good so having done this we can now see if our um, topo map or if our image is actually falling on the right location on our base map right good so we have a base map the world imagery and then the hybrid and reference layer right good so if we decide to put off this layer and then put it on we can be seeing some of the settlements that are on our topo map and we have been able to establish that yes let's use this particular settlement here is sharing let's now zoom on this base map to see if that's actually sharing so if we zoom in we can see rightly that this is what this is a sharing right good so let's um, zoom this to layer once more so having done that you can still decide to check what your transformation or let's say confirm we are using what the um, first order polynomial right good if you use any of these other ones the second order and third order that will be dependent on the maybe the number of coordinates you have chosen or the number of um, um, control points you have chosen for what for your georeferencing having done that we can still come to this um, control points table which gives you a preview of how the um, the georeferencing went right good from the source coordinates to the actual coordinate right good which is what the i think the target coordinate now the residuals are the amount of maybe shift in what the x and y axis now this sometimes is dependent on the number of coordinates you would have used for what for your georeferencing and again one thing to note is that you can still come down to map and um, right click and go to the properties and then under the what the coordinate system you can decide to change the coordinate system to the system which you have used for what for the georeferencing so if you've used um, a projected crs you can just come down here select them um, through the crs selector and then you can get what good this is um, projected right you can now select through maybe if you've used them um, utm or maybe if you've used world or whatever the case is you can just select which of them you've used forward for your georeferencing that can also enhance the um that can also bring to 
conformity the coordinates that um, you have used based on what the the base map right good so um having done that we can just decide to close this and then still um, zoom this to layer just to confirm good so having done that we can decide to what save this what our georeferenced image so let's click on save as new then this is the um, output directory the coordinate reference system and then we click on ok good exported successfully and then we can close this and then we can decide to take out the both of them so now let's import the georeferenced image so let's come down to our directory let's see the folder right good then we have what um, a bad down dot Steve. we can just decide to drag and drop so you can see that now it fits in um, perfectly on where it is supposed to be right good so you can decide to reduce or yeah you can modify sorry you can modify the transparency to see how transparent they are so that you can be seeing both the image which you referenced alongside what the base map right good so you can see there is a major route which cuts across here down to let's say somewhere around there and then you can still see the road so from the topo map you can see those roads and you can also see that what on your on your base map so that can be used as a check to see how well the topo map you've actually georeferenced fall in what in line right but so you can see some road networks here which are on the topo map and they are also on what on let's say the base map that um, we are using right good so thanks for coming to class we hope um, we've provided solution to this um, particular jazz or let's say surveying related um, problem we are going to see you on our next video until then keep staying safe and have a very good time bye